forest grew a little fir tree. He was a very pretty fir tree, but he was not happy. He hated being so small and wished he was as tall as the trees who towered above him. Oh, if only I was tall like you, he said to an oak. Then I'd be able to look out over the world and the birds would nest in my branches. Your time will come, said a friendly stork. Why don't you enjoy being young? Just look how the sun warms you and the birds and animals play around you. But the little fir tree refused to listen. Instead, he dreamt of things yet to come. One day, woodcutters came and cut down the tallest trees. Where are they going? the little fir tree asked. Ah, squawked the stork. I've seen trees like that sailing the seven seas because they have been made into the masts of ships. Well, the little fir tree thought being a mast and sailing the seven seas sounded far better than hanging out in a boring old forest. After that, he spent so much time dreaming of a life at sea that he barely noticed when summer turned to autumn, then autumn to winter. Christmas drew near and men came to dig up the tallest fir trees and take them away. Where are they taking them? The little fir tree asked the stork. Oh, squawked the stork. They are taken into people's houses and decorated with balls and ribbons. The little tree trembled with excitement. Oh, that sounds even better than sailing the seven seas. That's what I want to do. Another year passed and the little fir tree grew taller and stronger. Christmas came once more and men came to dig up trees. Pick me, pick me, cried the little fir tree. Of course, the men couldn't hear him because the little fir tree was so handsome, he was the first to be dug up. Bye-bye, he shouted to his friends as he was carted away. Despite the bumpy road, the little fir tree enjoyed his ride into town. However, he was pleased when the cart pulled up outside a fine house and he was lifted off the cart. A man, a woman and two children came out of the house. Isn't it handsome? cried the woman. Isn't it tall? cried the man. Isn't it pretty? cried the children. The little fir tree trembled with pride as he was taken into the house and stood in a wooden bucket. So this is my new home, he thought. It's so much grander than the forest and my new friends say the nicest things. The little fir tree thought he would burst with happiness when the children came and decorated him. And when the man placed a gold star on his highest tip, he felt like the smartest little fir tree that had ever lived. The following day was even better. First, the children sat around him to open their presents. Then, they were singing and dancing. Oh, how the little fir tree wished he could join in. In the evening, the children sat around the little fir tree while their father told them wonderful stories. The little fir tree had never heard such tales. It really was the best day of his life. Long after everyone had gone to bed, the fir tree shook with glee. He couldn't believe what an important little tree he was, nor could he wait to see what happened tomorrow. Early next morning, the little fir tree stood ready for action. He waited and waited, but nobody came. Then he heard footsteps and voices. We'd better get that tree out of here before it starts dropping needles, said the woman. Come on, children. Let's take it out, said the man. They picked up the fir tree and carried it from the room. Let's put it in the shed, said the man. It was very quiet. 
and very dark in the shed. The little fir tree didn't like it one bit. He was left there for days and days and had nothing to do but think. I miss the forest, thought the fir tree. I had so many lovely friends there. I wish I could go back there. One day the shed door swung open. The children had come in search of their sledges. Hey, it's the Christmas tree, cried the little girl. Let's take it to the garden and plant it, said the little boy. What now? said thought the fir tree as he was dragged from the shed and planted in the ground. At first it felt cold to be outside once more. But as the sun warmed his trunk and birds rested in his branches, the fir tree began to glow with happiness. A large bird landed beside the fir tree. So this is where you got to. I've missed you. It was the stalk. The little fir tree trembled with excitement. This was the life outside where a fir tree really belonged. The End